In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write math equations inside of a Google Form. One challenge for math teachers when using forms is to write equations that look nice and neat and easy for the students to read. I'm going to show you an example. In this example form, I'm going to add an item. When I add this multiple choice item, I'm going to write a fraction question, something like one half plus three-fourths equal. Whenever I write that fraction, the problem for the students is when they look at it, they see one slash two, or one divided by two, or one slash two plus three. They're not quite sure exactly how they should read it. What most teachers would probably like to have is the one over the two to represent the fraction. So here's how you solve this problem. There's two different steps or two different methods that you can use. Whichever you one you like the best should be the one you should use. So I want to give uh, credit where credit is due. This comes from a blog that I found called Math Tech Tips. You can find the blog at mathtechtips.blogspot.com. The author is John McGowan, and he's a math teacher, and he shares all of the technology math stuff that he uses in his classroom. Really cool site. But here's how to um, how to write nice neat equations. So back on your back on your form you're gonna add a new item and the item you want to add when you choose the drop down arrow is you want to choose to add an image. When we choose to add an image you have two options. You can upload an image or you can add an image by URL. In our first example we're gonna add by URL. When I click Add by URL, it says to paste the image URL here. You can get that image URL from his blog. There is a URL that says right here, just enter the URL. So all you need to do is copy this URL, including the equal sign at the end. So you want to copy and paste that URL into your image. This red warning will appear saying it can't read it. You'll notice at the end, after the equal sign where your cursor is, you can start typing in your, um, your math equation that you want to use. I'm going to use the following example. Let's say you wanted to use 3x plus 7 equals 28. As you can see, it starts putting the equation down here. But the problem is, is it cannot read the plus sign. So it turns out saying 3x7 equals 28. So to solve this, there is another link, and that link is to a URL decoder encoder. And on the URL encoder, what you do is you type the equation that you wanted to use. Again, my equation was 3x plus 7 equals 28. I type out the equation that I want, and then I choose encode. It will change it into some funky text. Just copy the text. Go back to your math problem, and after the equals sign from the URL that you pasted in earlier, paste in that encoded text. And now it changes it to 3x plus 7 equals 28. You can use this for all sorts of math problems. When you're done, you say select, and the image will appear, 3x plus 7 equals 28. You can center or not the image, and you can even give it a title, something like question one. Choose done. So now question one appears nice and neat, 3x plus 7 equals 28. That is option one using a URL encoder. Option two. Option two, whenever I add a question, it's the same process. I'm going to add an image. And this time, instead of going by URL, I'm going to choose to upload the image. And it says, what image do you want to upload? Well, first, you need to get the image. So another link that I'll have available takes you to this site right here that, has, that allows you to type an equation in the box. And so you can see that there are all sorts of different math equations and symbols that appear up here. And you can select any of them and they will appear in the box and help you type out your equations. I'm going to start with just 
going back to our simple fraction that we were talking about earlier. So I'm going to select the fraction. And so you can see on the fraction, it wants me to enter the fraction inside of the brackets. And so my fraction was 1 half. And then I can put my plus sign. And I need to put in another fraction. And so this fraction was 3 fourths. Down at the bottom, you can see it is generated for me, 1 half plus 3 fourths, nice and neat. On this one, you click here to download the image. So when I click that, you will notice that it downloads to the bottom of your screen. I now go back to my form, and I choose the image. Your downloads will go into your download folder. And there is my 1 half plus 3 fourths. I select the image and choose open. And there it is put in my 1 half plus 3 fourths. Again, I can center it if I want or not. And I could call this one question 2. And I tell it I'm done. So now I've made question 1 again using an encoder. And I've made question 2 using this site. It's called a latex rendering site if you want to know what it's called and that allows you to put your equation in the box. So whichever one you like better, there's two options for you to use. Some other suggestions that I have on making your math equations. One thing you might want to do is when you add an item, add a uh, paragraph text and the paragraph text you can tell the students to show your work here. And so I can move that where needed. I want them to show their work for 3x plus 7 equals 28. And then I can add multiple choice options if I wanted to. So my multiple choice options for 3x plus 7, I could say that um, x equals, and then I give them some options, uh, 6 or 7 or 8 and 9. And say done. So here are my options, so I'm going to move that up now. So now question one looks like this. It's got the question that gives them a place to show their work and allows them to choose whatever they think x equals. And I can do the same for question two. On question two, if you wanted to, paragraph text to show their work. And again, using multiple choice for their options. On all of these, the one thing that I do suggest is that you make sure it's a required question so the students cannot skip it. And now if I chose to view the live form, what the students are going to see is this nice math formula, uh, 3x plus 7 equals 28 with an area to show their work. They can choose the answer, question 2, a nice fraction formula where they can show their work and choose their options. So again, uh, thank you to Math Tech Tips from mathtechtips.blogspot.com for providing these links. I will have all links that I used in this video available on the FMS Tech Training site. And so if you go to my big campus and in the search bar type in FMS Tech Training, you will see this picture. And if you scroll down and you need to know how to make a form, uh, even a self-grading form, all the way down to lesson three is using Google Forms. And I have a bundle that talks all about, about using forms and self-grading quizzes with Flubaroo. And I'm going to put the links to the math equations right here, and you can access those anytime you need them. Again, if you need any other help, make sure you contact the tech department. And you can find their web page by going to the, the school homepage and choosing I am a staff member and educational technology. And this will take you to the home page for Mindy's blog.